Okay, so now we're going to create the script that's going to control this message uh, turning on and off. So in the My Scripts folder, let's just right click, create, and create a new C Sharp script, and we will just call this one Message Display. And let's uh, double click on this one. By the way, if you have a Microsoft Visual Studio already open and you press enter on the, when you've renamed the script, it automatically just pops up. A little bit annoying, and then you have to double click on the new script in order to open it. Okay, so message display then. Um, so all we're really gonna do is basically just switch game objects on and off again. So let's uh, serialize a field. And this is obviously to hold a game object. We'll call this one the message panel. And then we need another serialized field. Once again, a game object. And this one is for the trigger box. Reason why we need that is so that we can destroy it after we've done with it. Okay, so under start, we're simply gonna switch the message panel off if it's already switched on by accident or something like that dot game object with a little g dot set active uh, i'm going to set that to false okay so um we don't actually need an update on this script since all we really need is to detect if we've entered the trigger of the box so uh for this one we can just do a void on trigger enter there it is and it auto completes everything which is great and now we need to do an if other dot game object dot compare tag there it is compare tag and obviously we're, we're detecting if the player has entered this uh, trigger if that's the case then obviously we can just switch this game object on so let's just highlight that control and c to copy Control and V to paste and let's set this to true and we want to switch the cursor back on as well so cursor dot visible equals true and we want to stop time okay so we want to pause the game so we're going to say time dot time scale equals zero Okay, so that will completely pause the game, giving us time to actually read the message. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, um, in fact, no, uh, what I'm going to do is press enter a couple of times and we're going to create a new public void uh, exit message function. bear in mind uh, this is not going to be called from within this script this is only going to happen when you click on the button so the button will actually run this uh, particular command so what we're going to do is take all of these items control and C to copy and reverse them okay so we're gonna switch the message panel off because we're not going to actually destroy the message panel itself we just destroy we're switching the actual menu off we're destroying the trigger so that you can never activate it again. Cursor visible becomes false, returning us back to the game. Time dot time scale returns back to one. Okay, and then we've got one last um, command that we want to pass in, which is to destroy trigger box. And not immediately, we want to do it after about half a second, so 0.5f. And then semicolon on the end. Great, so then that will destroy it whenever we press the button. So let's just save this then. And we now need to find our message trigger and apply the message display to that message trigger. The message panel is right there. And the trigger box is message trigger one. Okay. Uh, now what we need to do is go back to our button um, and we need to add uh, something to this list on click, drag a message trigger object into there 
and find our message display and we need to call this exit message uh, function. And that's it, we've set up our first message.